Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries, and you can find out more about me and the ministry and my team at www.wordfm.net. And, okay, so share, comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, and one more. Tap that bell for notifications so you won't miss a single webcast, okay? All right, I'm going to get right into this. All right. First, I want to tell you, um, I spoke to a cousin of mine and it had been some time since we had spoken, uh, not because we don't like each other or anything, but, or that family's not important, but you know, just time passes and everything. But whenever we do speak, it's like no time has, has, has passed and we, we, we laugh and joke around and everything. And I have to admit, I think this particular time was... I don't know. It was really cool. I think it was like one of our best visits. Okay. Anyway, she was telling me she's, um, um, not to put her out there. Well, I'm not going to say her name, but anyway, (laughs) she's older. So she had an opportunity to know our grandparents better and even my dad and, um, just tell some of the stories and characteristics of our uncles and um, aunts and stuff. And it was so cool because it gave me an understanding about our family history, but also traits, you know, family traits and stuff. And, you know, like, oh, so that's why, you know, we speak about someone who's younger. Like, that's why, it, that, that's just who we are. You know, we're not settling for stuff. And that's how, that, oh, so that's how that one is like that. Oh, yeah. So uncle so-and-so did that. Okay. Well, now I understand. And it was so exciting to hear these things. And it wasn't just somebody telling these stories, but we were finding out about our history, discussing our history. It was so cool. Now to what's happening with this virus and everything. It was, it really was disheartening to me to hear some politicians and others speaking about how they were referring to seniors, the elders, and how they were talking about how they were almost like saying they're expendable without saying that word. I think maybe one of them did say that. And how they should sacrifice their life for the sake of everybody else in in America and stuff. I'm like, no. Oh, it grieved me so much. Because there is, I think that's part of what has been missing with our generations. And what's been missing from the communities and the connectedness and, and respect and things. Is that we're not honoring our elders. Now I got to tell you, some of them, you know, it's, it would be a reach to try to, (laughs) to try to listen to all of what they say. But for the most part, there are things that the Lord put into place for the generations, for the people, for his people, for just humanity. And part of it is, has to do with elders And because they've lived through some stuff, they've experienced some things, they know the history of different things, it's important. It helps you to know where you belong. It helps for you to understand um, the different aspects of your life and the family and family interaction or lack thereof. And it, 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 there's a camaraderie that can come from it just from knowing. And when we think about the Bible in this regard, the Lord, he told them, he told the Israelites and having it written in his word, he's telling us that we, the, the older people are supposed to share the stories. They're supposed to tell and talk about how God brought them through and, and how, um, they were at their last, whether it was provision or energy or wits in or whatever it is. And God came through. They're supposed to let us know, and we're supposed to pass it on to the generations and so on and so on. So that that's how we are encouraged to to persevere and how we stay strong. When we hear about how it happened before and how God came through before, how he fought that battle and how he came, came through and, and, and blessed and healed and and protected and all of these things. When we hear about that and from firsthand accounts, and even as the generations go on, we're passing it on and passing it on, but it's so in our hearts that, oh my gosh, that's how we can continue on. This is, this builds faith. It builds character and a respect. So Deuteronomy chapter six, I'm going to read a few verses. Hang with me. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter six, and I'm going to start at verse one. 
Now this is the commandment. And these are the statutes and judgments with the Lord, which the Lord, your God has commanded to eat, to teach you that you may observe them in the land, which you are crossing over to possess that you may fear the Lord, your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you and your son and your grandson, all the days of your life and that your days may be prolonged. Therefore, hear, O Israel, and be careful to observe it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I, which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk to them and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. You see, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to go. So for all of those who are um, trying to say that in this sacrifice, the elderly and, you know, and just, just skip them all together because they, they're not important. They live their life. No, uh-uh. They have a very important part to play in how the generations progress. They have an important part to play in encouraging and building faith. And for the seniors that um, uh, society has been wearing you down and, and beating you down with that kind of making you to feel that you're not important. Yes, you are. You are very important. There is a purpose for you. It, God knows how old you are, but you're supposed to tell the stories. You're supposed to pray for, for, for the generations following. You're the one We see stuff going on in your community. Pray. Seniors, elders, the aged are very important to society and they are not to be discarded. All life matters, regardless of your age. And I guess you can see this is really bothering me. But when I think about how important it is, my mom, my grandmother, the things that my, my father, my parents have instilled in, in me and my sister and, and to um, our generations and uh, just, uh, oh my gosh, it's just so incredibly um, important that we get a hold of this and that we honor God by being obedient to him and the things he put in place so that we can go into that land of milk and honey, whatever that land is for you. It's, it's just important. It's imperative that we obey God and we do things as he set this thing up. So no, we are not sacrificing our elders. We are not sacrificing our seniors. No, we're going to honor them and honor the God in them. Now, some of them, the ones that are not uh, following God and are not living right or doing the right thing, we are not to follow anybody into a hole. We don't follow anybody, not a hole, a pit, nothing, in, nothing like that. I'm not saying that you just blindly follow them because they're, they're aged. No, I am not saying that. What I am saying is the importance of family, the importance of, of uh, respecting elders, the importance of the elders stepping up and doing what they're supposed to do to lead and to teach and to guide. That's been missing. And society has been working to try to tear that thing apart because they the enemy who's controlling the world and the society and all this stuff and playing systems against systems. He knows the importance of what God put in, what he, he put in place. So yes, he's working to tear the family down. Yes. He's trying to get the young ones to disrespect the older ones. Yes. He's trying to get the young ones to disregard the counsel of the others. Yes. He's working at it, but God is greater. And for us to repent and turn this thing around, check on your seniors during, especially during this time, how are they doing? Send them a note so that they don't, with everybody different places on different, you know, on varying levels of lockdown because of this health emergency, uh, they're on lockdown. They're not supposed to go out. They're not supposed to venture out, but I'm telling you seniors, two things here, seniors, I'm telling you, that does not mean that you are locked down, locked out and disregarded. No, not that. And for the younger people, step up and start reaching out, call, make a call, 
Uh, send a note. Yeah, get back to basics, right? <laughs> Pencil and paper, <laughs> write it out. A lot of our seniors aren't into social um, me, uh, social media and things like that. But even if they are, there's something special about getting that handwritten note. And it doesn't have to be long. Nobody's telling you to write a novel, but just something, just thinking of you, there you go. It's so cool. And seniors, you're not done yet. Pray for your for the young ones. Pray for your community as the different things are coming up and you're finding out different things and God's causing you to notice different things. Pray about that thing. Ask the Lord, what will you have me to do? This information is weighing on me. What shall I do? And then do it. Lead me in how I'm to pray, Father God. Young ones, ask the Lord the same thing. I'm concerned about my mom, my dad, my, my neighbor. I'm concerned. I was in a store earlier today and there was a, a senior and she had her walker and it was loaded up with stuff and she had things. She was, you know, trying to balance things in her arm and she had the face mask on and all of this. And she's walking and she went up to the line and I could see, and we all could see that that particular line, although there was a cashier there, the register was closed, light was out and all of that. She was actually cleaning. And so the lady, I don't know if she thought the woman would, the young lady would take her anyway. I don't know. I don't know what was in the woman's head. But I went over to her and I said, ma'am, you can come over and get in front of me. There's only one person in front of me. And, you know, she was kind of put off or whatever. But that's all I can do. Right? And I said, are you sure you want to go? That's all I could do. Now, whether they receive it or not, that's it. Same thing with, um, uh, uh, it's just, it's the gesture. Okay, and is sincerely caring. Man, can I carry that for you? Can I help you? Let's get back to community basics, okay? Let's get back to the word of God that it talks about. Yes, he's telling the seniors, teach your children diligently. Do not just kind of well, if I happen to see you, I'll let you know. Diligently teach your children. Talk to them when you're in the house, when you're walking, when you're doing different things explain things to them, sit down, spend some time together. Let's take this thing. I know I said it before, but let's take this thing and let's flip this thing around. We're going to bring things back to the basics. We're going to bring thing back, things back to the word of God. And we're going to start doing things the way God intended for us to do it. We're going to care about each other. We're going to be there for each other. We're going to respect each other. Yes. And we're going to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. And one of the ways to do it is to obey him and to love his creations and love his children. So, Father God, I thank you. Huh. I thank you, Lord, for the stirring that you put in me to present this, this message. And I know it's on your heart because as, as strong as it is on me, I know I'm not the only one. So, Father... Collectively, I'm just, I'm not going to assume. I'm just going to know that you are joining me in prayer here. Set our families in order. Set our generations in order, Father God. We thank you for the things that you've brought us through. And we thank you that we can pass that on to the generations. Lord, forgive us for being disrespectful and, 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 and uh, disobeying you and being disrespectful. Father, help us search our hearts and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. It's time, Lord, for us to to go into, as you promised, the land that's flowing with milk and honey, whatever that land is, whatever that promise is, whatever the, the places that you have for us, God, but we got to do it right. You put this all together, these verses all together. So they're, they're following, obeying your commands, your instruction, not just the thou shalt not, but your commands of instruction and direction. Father God, Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for setting us back on point. Thank you for softening our hearts for one another and give us wisdom and how we're to interact, Father God, and discernment to know those who we are supposed to, how long, how much, where, when, the wisdom of you, God. We thank you for it, Father, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I have for today. Bye-bye. Yes, I was a bit fired up. Okay, yes. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.